With the if function in Excel, you can test something. If the result is true, show one answer. And if the result is false, show a different answer. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. Here's an example of a test we could use with the if function. We've got a little order form here. We want to put in a quantity and show a total. But if we haven't entered a quantity yet, what would we like to happen? With if, we can tell it to not show a total if this cell is empty. And then if something is in the cell, then do show a total. Here's the order form that we're going to fill in and we'll put an if formula in the total cell and that will check if this cell is empty and then either show nothing here or show the price times the quantity. So to start the formula, I'll type equals if and open bracket. We want to test if this cell is empty. We'll click on the cell, equal sign, and to show empty, we use an empty string, which is two double quotes, and then comma. And if the cell is empty, then that test is true. We're going to show an empty cell. So again, double quotes, and comma. If that's false, if the cell is not empty, what do we want? We want it to show us the price times the quantity. So price, and then the asterisk for times, and quantity cell. Press enter, and now there's nothing in the quantity cell, so it's an empty string that it sees here, and it's showing an empty string here. If I type any number in here, it now multiplies that number by the price. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook, and please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.